How's it going, people? I was going to drink scotch, but I I went over that chapter again after missing, uh, and it came to pass, and I found three more. So I got about six this chapter. I got more moose drool, but I wanted to try this. Banana bread beer. I don't know. Give it a shot. Yep, thought so. Fancy beers. Can't twist them off. Banana bread beer, huh? Hmm. Nice color. Still listening to Dream Theater's uh, official bootleg of Metallica's Master of Puppets. I think this is the first time they did it as an entire album. Wow, that's wow. Yep, smells like banana brood. Then I got moose drool to look forward to. I knew if I drank the moose drool first, it would probably wreck my taste buds for this other one. Chapter 10 of Alma. All right, let's see. I'm going to read the, uh, the uh, title section here. Amulux Lineage. All right. Amulux uh, Lineage. Lineage. That's about as close as you get to a genealogy and... It's pretty skimpy, by biblical standards. Got some huge calves. Uh, Lehi, a descendant of Joseph through Man Manassas. Amulek, tell Amulek uh, tells of his conversion, his testimony. He denounces designing lawyers and judges. Oh, boy. Zero. The introduction of a new character with a great name. Okay, that was informative. I should start doing that from now on since I'm reading these cold. Gives me a little idea where I'm at. Verse one. Now, these are the words which Amulek preached unto the people who were in the land of Ammonihah, saying. I am Amulek. Amulek. <laughs> I am the son of Gedonha. Gedonha. Uh, who was the son of Ishmael? Uh, which one? Uh, who was a descendant of Amminadi? Wait. Amminadi. Who it was the same, and it was the same Ammon Nandai, Nandai, who interpreted the writing which was upon the wall of the temple, which was written by the finger of God. Three. And Ammon, wait, Amminadai was a descendant of Nephi. Was it everybody? <laughs> Almost. There's a very good chance you were, being such a shallow gene pool. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Who was the son of Lehi? Who came out of the land of Jerusalem? Who was a descendant of Manassas? At Manassas. Uh, that guy. Uh, who was the son of Joseph, who was sold into Egypt by the hands of his brethren? That's a pretty short list. Did each one of these guys like live a uh, thousand years? Uh. Four. And behold, I am also a man of no small reputation. Uh, among all those who know me, yay, cheering section, and behold, I have many kindreds 
and friends. And I have also acquired much riches by the hand of my industry. Whatever that is. He had a job of some kind. It paid well. Guess that's all we get. It's not important. See, the retina and gold, they can't waste time with details when they need space for repetition. <laughs> and then they keep telling us that there's shit that they can't write, but they're taking up space doing that. Why? Nevertheless, after all this, I never have been... Wait, I never have known much of the ways of the Lord and his mysteries and marvelous power. I said I never had known much of these things, but behold, I mistake. For I, for I have seen much of his mysteries and his marvelous power. So he mistake. I've heard of pig Latin, but not pig old English. <laughs> uh, yay! Even in the preservation of the lives of this people. Once in a while. Six. Nevertheless, I did harden my heart, for I was called many times, and I would not hear. Maybe I should be turning the music down. Might have missed some calls. God! God calling you and you can't hear it? What the fuck is up with his Jedi powers? Did he blow his load on, on the Exodus? I mean, what the fuck? Or whatever. I'm not going to go there. Sorry. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I know I'm in five. All right. Yeah. Uh, but behold, I'm a mistake. <laughs> I love that. Yay. Uh, yeah. All right. Six. Nevertheless, I did harden my heart, for I was called many times, and I would not hear. Therefore, I knew concerning these things, yet I would not know. Cognitive dissidence, I believe. Kind of in reverse, though. Therefore, I went on rebelling against God in the wickedness of my heart, even until the fourth day of the seventh month, which is in the tenth year of the reign of the judges. Seven. As I was journeying to see a very near kindred, who isn't important as a story, he was just leaving town, he's going on a journey, and a very, a very near kindred, it wasn't going far. Uh, Behold, an angel of the Lord appeared unto me and said, Amulek, return to thine own house. That's how much. That's what. That's how much notice. I mean, he could have stayed home, got ready. Tell him the night before, dickhead. Fucking lazy ass angels. <laughs> yeah. Now that you're leaving, go back. Sound familiar? <laughs> Very. Uh. Behold, an angel of the Lord appeared unto me and said, Return, yeah, Amulek, return unto thine own house, for thou shalt feel a pro feed a prophet. Yeah, feed a prophet of the Lord. Get back and make him dinner. Yay! That's a holy man. It's the angel talking. <laughs> Uh, uh, a holy man who is a chosen man of God. 
this story. He has fasted many, fasted many days because of the sins of this people. Yeah, so you can, like, pay for someone else's sins, I guess, like he's doing. I guess they don't need those scapegoats anymore. All those sacrifices. Yeah. Just keep sacrificing an imaginary guy over and over again and leave the animals alone. Besides, you get crackers and wine. <laughs> and the music sometimes is not too loud. <laughs> Uh, he has fasted many days because of the sins of this people. And he is an hungered. <laughs> an hungered. <laughs> and thou shalt receive him into thy house and feed him. And he shall bless thee and thy house, but he probably won't tip you. And the blessing of the Lord shall rest upon thee and thine house. Eight. Fucking finally. This chapter ain't cooperating. And it came to pass that I obeyed the voice of the angel and returned towards my house. Uh, at least he didn't faint this time. Maybe he wasn't using his thunder voice this time, the angel. <laughs> his voice of thunder lays him out every time. He probably, what, probably that little soft voice. This is a nice message. Uh, all right. And it came to pass that I obeyed the voice of the angel and returned towards my house... And as I was going thither, I found the man whom the angel said unto the man whom the angel said unto me, Thou shalt receive into thy house, and behold, it was the same man who has been speaking unto Amen. Who has been speaking unto you concerning the things of God? Nine. And the angel said unto me, He is a holy man, wherefore I know he... Yeah, okay. The angel's still talking, and there he... Ah. Uh. Nine. And the angel said unto me, He is a holy man. Wherefore, I know he is a holy man because it was said by an angel of God. Okay, I see the angels are talking about it. Man, I was getting flashback fever. Just because. Oh, the, and the angel said unto me, he, yeah, it sounded like the angel's talking in nine. And it sounded like suddenly he was quoting the angel. Which one is it? Chime in. Open channel. You can bitch me out in a video response, leave comments, whatever. I'll read them and watch them, honestly. Tell me if, I'm, if I need to understand this better. And again, I know that the things uh, that the things whereof he has testified are true, for behold, I say unto you that as the Lord liveth, even so has he sent this angel to make <laughs> these things manifest unto me. And thus he has done while this Alma hath dwelt at my house. <laughs> Eleven. For behold, he hath blessed mine house, he hath blessed me, and my women, plural, and my children, and my father, and my kinfolk.
11. And my women and children. Kind of contradictory, didn't they? Uh, wasn't it Jacob that was going on and on about... Maybe he's being wicked. That's what it is. Okay. But he's a good guy. Wait a minute. All right. Let's just move on. Maybe it'll clear itself up as I read. <sighs> Eleven. Behold, he, uh, yeah, yeah, my women, my children, my father, and my kinfolk. That's eleven. Yea, even all my kindred hath he blessed, and the blessing of the Lord hath rested upon us according to the words which he spake. 12. And now, there's a drink coming up, but not yet. <laughs> uh, and now, when Amulek had spoken these words, the people began to be astonished. They began to be. They, how about the people were astonished? They began to be, because we need to make this as long as possible. They began to be astonished, seeing there was more than one witness who testified of the things whereof they were accused. So they were convinced with one guy, but two guys did it, right? Wow, two of them. This is serious. <laughs> Ah, yes. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. More than one witness who testified of the things whereof they were accused, and also of the things which were to come, according to the spirit of prophecy which was in them. 13. Nevertheless, there were some among them who thought to question them that, that by their cunning devices they might catch them in their words, that they might find witness against them, that they might deliver them to their judges, that they might be judged according to the law, and that they might be slain or cast into prison according to the crime which they could make appear or witness against them. 14. Now, it was those men who sought to destroy them, who were lawyers, who were hired or appointed by the people to administer the law at their times of trials. Yeah. <laughs> Rotten lawyers. I mean, they got trials and judges. We don't need no lawyers. Or at the trials of crimes of the people before the judges. Yeah. Sorry, I'm cutting them off here. I'm ahead of this book, I guess. 15. Now, these lawyers were learned in all the arts and cunning of the people. <laughs> and this was to enable them that they might be skillful in their profession. And that's a bad thing. 16. That's right, look, bandit. Ambidextrous. Not really. But I can pour another beer and I did. That's a good one. Thanks. Need I say more? Yeah. 
Wow. Interesting chaser to that banana bread. An honest taste of beer. And it came to pass at 16 that they began to question Amulek, that thereby they might make him cross his words or contradict the words which he should speak. Which is not the same thing, said another oxymormon. <laughs> A new word, sorry. <laughs> I hope it catches on. <laughs> oh, like this game. 16. Now, they knew not that Amulek could know of their designs. Still in 17. Thank you! Talk you through this one. So I'll start it over again. <coughs> ah, I'm almost there. Sorry. But it came to pass that they began to question him. Uh, <laughs> he perceived their thoughts. Oh, boy. Is this familiar? Not the song. I know that's familiar. God, they're just ripping every part of the Bible off here. <coughs> and that's what I think when I think it, man. Not you. <laughs> uh, began to question him. He perceived their thoughts, and he said unto them, O oh, ye wicked and perverse generation, ye lawyers and hypocrites, for ye are laying the foundation of the devil. For ye, for ye are laying traps and snares to catch the holy ones of God. <clears throat> Eighteen. Yea, uh, ye are laying plans to pervert the ways of the righteous and to bring down the wrath of God upon your heads even to the utter destruction of this people. 19. Yea, well did Mosiah say, Who was our last king? Wait. Yea, well did Mosiah say, Who was our last king? When he was about to deliver up the kingdom, causing that the people should be governed by their own voices. Yea, well, did he say that if the time should come that the voice of this people should choose iniquity, that is, if the time should come that this people should fall into transgression, they would be ripe for destruction. Oh no. <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> And now I say unto you, you, it doesn't say unto ye, it says unto you. <laughs> Different mailbox. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, bad. <laughs> uh, and now I say unto you that <laughs> well doth the Lord judge of your iniquities. <laughs> well doth he cry unto his this people. Does he really? Does he? I didn't mean to make God cry. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just because. There's some more drinks there. Anyway, <laughs> right for destruction. 20. Yeah, okay. And now I say unto you that well doth the Lord judge 
of your iniquities. Will doth he cry unto this people. They're letting him say all this. He's in the middle of a city street. And he's following Alma Jr. on the stump. And... Okay, look. I mean, I, they're, they're slippery. Nobody can grab them yet. Until they get... Until they finish what they gotta say. Then all bets are off. Sort of. Yeah. I promise you, it will, will be lame. But it'll be kind of fun. Don't want to give too much. Uh, <laughs> Twenty-one. Yay! Well, doth he cry by the voice of his angels that I will come down among my people with e equity and justice in my in my hands. Twenty-two. Yay! And I say unto you that if it were not for the prayers of the righteous who are now in the land <laughs> that ye ye <laughs> would even now be visited with utter destruction yet it would not be by flood because he promised and gave us a rainbow he was nice enough to drop off the koalas and the penguins. <laughs> Not by flood, as were the people in the days of Noah. No, sh no kidding, huh? Wow. Write that one down. I don't want to forget that one. <laughs> but it would be by famine and by pestilence. And a sword. 23. But it is by the prayers of the righteous that ye are spared. Now, therefore, if ye will cast out the righteous from among you, then it, uh, then will not the Lord stay his hand, but in his fierce anger. He will come out against... Wow, that's weird. That was almost like a question that just kept going and isn't anymore. It's still the same sentence, honestly. Uh, it is all one sentence. Uh, <laughs> 23, you know. All right, where, where was I? Yeah, uh, I'll start at the semicolon. <laughs> but in his fierce anger, he will come out against you. Then ye shall be smitten by famine, uh, and by pestilence, and by the sword. And the time is soon that at soon at hand, except ye repent. Twenty-four. Now I'm getting into the spirit. And now came to pass that the people were more angry with Emulek, the top Alma Jr. Alma the sequel. <laughs> He's number two. Uh, yeah, they were more angry with Amulek. And they cried out, saying, This man doth revile against our laws, which are just, <clears throat> and our wise lawyers, whom we have selected. 25. 
But Amulek stretched forth his hand and cried the mightier unto them, saying, O oh, ye wicked and perverse generation, why hath Satan got such great hold upon your hearts? Why will ye yield yourselves unto him that he may have power over you to blind your eyes that ye will not understand the words which are spoken according to their truth. <laughs> 26. <laughs> For behold, have I testified against your law? Ye do not understand. Ye say that I have spoken against your law. But I have not. But I have spoken in favor of your law to your condemnation. Biot. 27. And now behold, I say unto you that the foundation of the destruction of this people is beginning to be laid by the unrighteousness of your lawyers and your judges. 28. That was God? No, that was... All right, that was Josiah's idea, I guess, but God wanted judges. Because <clears throat> he did it... He was doing it in Jerusalem. It's like, that ain't working out. That didn't work out. I'll do it in reverse this time. Hang on. <laughs> Boost rule. How about that? It's hard to even drink as in a name, but it's actually really nice. It ain't really But there might have to be some boost rule in it. But I don't mind. <laughs> as long as it's FBA approved. <laughs> I lost my place. At 28. And now, it came to pass that when Amulek had spoken these words, the people cried out against him, saying, Now we know that this man is a child of the devil. So, okay, whatever. For he hath lied unto us. For he hath spoken against our law. And now he says that he has not spoken against it. 29. And again, he was reviled against our Lord. He has reviled against our lawyers and our judges. Did 29 belong there at all? That's all there is. It's a really short verse. Except it repeats 28. It's... They're a bunch of primitives. They don't know how to write. Yes. Writing is new to them, apparently. This fucking reformed Egyptian is a bitch to write in, apparently. That's why they thought they would adopt it. <laughs> 30. Gotta come up for air. Let <laughs> them out. Moose drool. God damn. Huh. 30. And it came to pass that the lawyers put it into their hearts that they should remember these things against them. 31. And there was one among the, them whose name was Zerom. Oh, that sounds familiar. Not the name, but the situation. Like maybe the beginning, early part of Acts. And it's Saint Stephen, you know, the first martyr after J.C.
31. Uh, and there was one among them whose name was Zizrom. Z-E-E-Z-R-O-M. Zizrom. Somebody named their kid that. Zizrom. Zizrom, get your ass over here. Do your chores. Zizrom. Now, he was the foremost to accuse Amulek and Alma. <laughs> Sorry. It's just, I don't know. He being one of the most expert among them, having much business to do among the people. 32. Now, the object of these lawyers was to get gain. And that and they got gain according to their employ. That's the end of Alma 10. Fucking fascinating shit. I'll see you guys in Alma 11. Peace. The fuck out. And uh, check these guys out. Dream Theater. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having.